in five years I've fought four times. For someone who lives for the sport like me, it has been extremely frustrating. I know the, the sport has grown and sport has created a lot of new fans and those fans don't know me. Making a comeback in Holland, it's a perfect chance to show my personality, my fighting style to the new fans. Fighting Paulo Thiago, I remember that I was being fed to Paulo Thiago. He was the guy in the top 10. He was very popular in Brazil. They wanted to prepare him for a title shot. After the fight, I had injury back to back to back. For my fight with John Howard, I had injured my shoulders. After the first minute, my shoulders were completely damaged, like spaghetti arms. I couldn't even keep my hands up. I lost the decision, and I took care of my shoulders. It took me two and a half years. I came back, and I beat Brandon Thatch. That's going to tap. Hit it's down. all over. Sir Bahadur Zada by submission. I'm going to deliver a message that I'm back in the cage. I'm healthy, and when I'm healthy and well-trained, I don't think there's anybody on the planet that can stop me. This is herring with the gherkin and um, onions. Whenever I got hungry, I would come here and eat this. So it's, it's healthy and it's, and, it's, and it's delicious. It's, it's typical Dutch too. <laughs> I love it. Me and Amsterdam, we're one. Just walking in the streets of Amsterdam takes me completely out of my world, and my world is fighting. And it, it takes my mind off of fighting. It takes my mind off of anything negative. Growing up in Afghanistan was, was different than growing up here. As a little kid, I would go out and play in the streets with my friends. Even though there was fight from street to street, civil war, we didn't care because we were used to it, it was every day. We couldn't stay home every day. We were like, you know what, screw this. We're not gonna stay home. We're gonna go out in the street and play. Whatever happens, happens. When we were playing, we would hide because we were scared that the bullet would hit us. But I did love that rush. I loved it, the adrenaline, I loved it. And I got used to it as a little kid. When I came to Holland, I was looking for something that gives me that kind of excitement. And people say that you can get a really good kick from fighting. So when I started training MMA, after two months I did my first fight. And I found that rush that I had in Afghanistan after winning. And ever since, I never stopped training. I got to fight back and MMA helped me fight back. MMA gave me the life that I was looking for after getting out of Afghanistan. Today we did some uh, strength power and explosive power, also with a 30 max. Go. Nice job. He's working hard, sometimes too hard. Sometimes you need to stop him. Think, hey man, you need to stop now, it's good. We did enough, so you can go home, sleep, rest, and do the same thing again tomorrow. Alistair Overeem has been like a big brother to me. He helped me prepare for that next step, and he helped me realize that the game has evolved and I have to evolve too. She was a good buddy, I've known him for 16 years. We always help each other, basically. The, this goes into techniques, into strategies, into game planning. I introduced him to our strength and conditioning coach. He's doing excellent work with him. I foresee big things for him. He's already a shooter world champion, his glory champion. He's, he's already had his, uh, his, his belts, his championships. But there's also for him one missing, that's UFC. This is fight every day. You're fighting yourself. You're getting better than the person that you were yesterday. And every time I come here, I just make sure I'm a little bit better than the last time. And that's my competition. Confidence actually comes from hard work. Everybody who works hard, they're confident. So hard work is the only ingredient that builds confidence. When you work hard, confidence speaks. And I'm going to be great.
mostly we do poker and training camps. Just a little bit money, so to make it exciting. Awesome. Of course, it's big days coming up. Um, so it's all about being in a good vibe with your buddies. It's fun. I get to intimidate people, <laughs> you know. Oh, easy. You guys are scared of me. I, I build them up for the fall. No, you're not. Oh, no! In some way, it's just like fighting. The only thing that's different than poker is in fighting, you cannot bluff. In poker, you get to bluff. I have a flush already. And you get away with it sometimes, sometimes you don't. I'm born in Afghanistan, I'm an Afghan. I'm never gonna forget my roots. Being the pioneer and being the first person who brought us to Afghanistan, it's, it's the biggest honor. My entire nation is behind me. But I will also never forget what Holland has given me, a second chance. And I took that second chance. And uh, September 2nd in Rotterdam, Holland, my fight will be some kind of thank you for the Dutch people for giving me a second chance. And I get to shine in front of them 